Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm going to show you how to make some incredible fire starters with nothing but cardboard, a few matches, and a little bit of wax. And I'm going to show you how to make a fire starter with a little bit of cardboard, some matches and wax. This fire starter, once you get it lit, it's actually pretty hard to put out. I'm going to demonstrate the technique with the wax and then without the wax and illustrate the difference for you. So right now I'm going to start up my stove. I'm going to melt some wax in an improvised setup and I'll show you how to build this thing up. First we're going to chop up some wax. That way I've got enough so it doesn't get eaten alive by my little makeshift stove. I think that'll do the job. I just need a little bit of wax to cover each one of these. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare each one of my little super fire starters. You can use three or four matches. What you do is you notice at the edge of the cardboard here, the edge of the cardboard has these perfect grooves for matches to fit in so you can jam quite a few in there i uh if your life depends on it i wouldn't go cheap add some more matches because when it all comes down to it you need all the help you can get so i'm going to going to repeat this four or five times and make a bunch of these little fire starters and then i simply light my propane stove now granted this probably isn't the best way to do it but uh, we'll be safe here all right And I'm just going to keep the heat pretty low on that thing. And what I've done is I've made this little makeshift cup for wax. If it gets too hot, it'll start smoking and it could catch on fire. So you do want to be careful. Okay, and with the stove still on, all you do is simply touch the cardboard in the wax and get this process started. Now that I've prepared my super fire starter, I'm going to demonstrate it, scrape off a little of the wax on the match. That is critical with my phone blinging. And once I get a little bit of wax off the match, then I will strike it and I will show you how long it burns. Typically I've had these burn for hmm, four minutes. And I'll also show you a sample of what happens when you don't actually add the wax and build this correctly. Okay, here we go. I've scraped some of the uh, wax off this guy and hopefully it lights. All right, here we go. Now you'll see that it's breezy and it just will not stop burning. Now, you can see, as that uh, lights and burns, what happened when I didn't put the wax on here. This guy had no wax and it just went out, burned a little bit and stopped. But we're going to watch and see just how long this burns. And there you go. As you can see, once you've added the wax, it makes this thing into an ultimate fire starter, even in breeze. It had no trouble staying lit compared to just putting a couple of matches in cardboard. It, it didn't do anything. It was totally worthless and went out easy. This thing is still actually glowing where you might still get fire from it. There you go. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I am a polar explorer and professional adventurer bringing you fun ideas for things in the outdoor survival adventure, training, travel, and everything else. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel if you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe out there.